Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. Back in update five. We are dealing with bad water, bad tides, all that kind of good stuff. I think we've got it situated right now, though. For the most part, we're working on this backside right here. That's what we're doing. We're waiting on them to get their dynamite over there so that all of that can get situated. I am going to set up some more areas to cut trees down. Because I really don't feel like we need any of these trees over here. Yep, and then that floods. That's okay. Like I said, we'll build it up over here on the side, and then we'll just keep moving it in. Okay, yeah, they can, they can reach that as well once they get over there. Alright, well, it's going to be a minute before they get all that dynamite up there and blasted. Let's see, take a look at everything else we got going on over here just to see what else, what else needs our attention right now. Let's see, we've got, we've got 11 beavers. Ah, I need to put a path over here. That's what we did, we didn't do. One path. Alright, good. So that housing is now good. So now we've got plenty of free beds. Which will help increase our beaver population a little bit because we are, ooh, we've got 13 vacancies. Yeah, so we're going to need, we're going to need all of that. You know, that's kind of cool. All of that stayed green. So between this and that over there. This whole area is like good to go for something. I don't know. I'm still thinking we might do like a spatter dock crop over here. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now. We've got 3.2 thousand food, 1.6 thousand water. Very nice. Let's go ahead and blast that down. Take that down and cut it back one more level. do that and we will just raise the priority of all that so that they hurry Well, we're at cycle 15, day 11. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, and I guess I could have dug a channel over here to the side and dumped off where these two were. That's what a couple people had suggested. But, I mean, either way, we're going to have to build a channel. I'm just going to do it straight directly behind. That way, when it's, uh, that way I can flush it out better. And we don't have to worry about anything kind of falling back in here or anything like that, so. 
A little bit more explosives, but I think it'll be okay. Nice full berries. We've got all of our crops down here. Our trees are looking good. How are we doing on pine resin? 400, huh? Hmm. I am wondering if we should go ahead and take this up. Add in one more pine resin and what else was full? The gears are full. Let's go ahead and do another gear one as well too. That way all the industries can keep building. That way if we ever get to where we need a lot of something, we can do it. Uh, what is this? It's, oh, it's because it's flooded. Okay. Um, all of that is good. Go ahead and blast that. Get rid of both of those and get rid of this little section of road right here. Okay. So we'll do this and then we'll start working our way back. How deep is this? This is three. No, we got a bad tide approaching. We gotta hurry. Can they get all the dynamite placed within the next couple of days? We will see. How are we doing on vacancies down here? Only nine. Good. So we're starting to fill in some of our vacancies. Excellent. Come on, little beavers. Get this dynamite up here. Did they build? Yeah, they already built that. Okay, good. So everyone should be focused just on getting that dynamite over there now. Two more. Roughly one and a half days left. We'll see what we get here. We got a handful of beavers coming in right now. But it gets dark. Yeah, literally one day left and they got two pieces of dynamite placed. Well, I mean, I guess they delivered it. They just didn't get it built. So we'll see. 
We'll see what we can accomplish today. I guess I could go ahead and blast this one. Half a day left. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there because I need to get over here and we need to switch up all of our stuff. So this needs to shut, this needs to open, and that needs to shut. Okay. Well, let the bad tides come, I guess. Everything's being pushed out over there, with the exception of this. Because, yeah, and now we're going to get a lot of sick beavers, because they're all inside. You know what? How about, well, they're still going to, eh, I'm going to do this. Because I'm going to have to remove this anyway. Alright, that should drop it down. That should keep them out of the, out of the gunk for a little bit. I was really expecting them to work a little bit faster, but... I guess whenever we lost lost that little bit of population there, we probably lost some haulers and everything else and yeah, maybe even a couple couple of the builders or something, but eh, we'll see what happens now. How many do we have? We have yeah, we still have five vacancies, so that's still still a little bit of a thing. I've got to figure out how to get how to get that stuff, that extract. I don't know I don't know how to how we get the extract yet. Where where is that at? Where would that be? The centrifuge. Heavy duty machine transforming dangerous bad water into usable extract. That's what we need right there. And it takes 200 HP to use that sucker, huh? Yeah, we probably could have already blasted through all that if I would have had that. So we've got to have... So I've got to have bad water and power. So it sounds like it needs to be down here. Okay, I'm going to put it right there question is is that universal does that connect or is it going to be one of those we need to I bet you we have to connect it in the middle let's see metal blocks gears and planks yeah we can get that guy that's what I should have done I didn't even think about that until just now I was like you know if we would have had that we could have already blasted our holes and been done You know, in fact, that's probably what I should do this whole way. Because that's only what I need to go down to. Three deep. I need to go three deep on all this. You know what? How about we do that? How about... Yeah, cancel all of that. Get all of this done.
And then we'll come back with that. And then that should... Yeah, that should be three. So that should be right on... Right on where we need to be with it. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, I guess I need to unpause these pumps as well. I think we're out of bad water. Yeah, in fact, I know we're out of bad water. Okay. So, we need to do that. We need to increase beaver population again. How many explosives do we have? We have... Oh, did I use them all? Ooh. I just realized that we had used them all, too. Okay, well... It is what it is. We're pumping bad water right now. We're getting other stuff going. How many more beavers do I need? Uh, four more for the vacancies plus two. So we'll need six more altogether. That's not too bad. We've got 14 extra beavers over here. So that should that should work. We probably ought to work on raising the well-being a little bit too. If we possibly can. Um, somebody was telling me... That all I would have to do is come over here and add in a couple little towers and add in uh, the things, the, 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 not the shrooms, the shrubs. That's what it is, the shrubberies. Which I think is an excellent idea. We can go ahead and do that. Because that will give us shrub bonuses for both of those. And then I think I'm going to put another one down here as well. Because that does elevate our shrubs above everything. So that'll give us a couple shrub bonuses for our housing over here. I wish I had... Do we have... We don't have any sort of overhang platform that I can attach, do we? That's only, that's only for that one mod. Okay, so no, we don't have that. So I can't do it with these two back here unless I put in you know, put it in on top or something like that. But either way, we'll do this. We'll get a little bit, uh, we'll get a little bit of a bonus going there. What else can I do? I know we have the roofs, but I'm not, I'm not capping this off yet. Um, the lanterns, they do give an aesthetic. Hmm, just kind of looking to see where where everything's at. We could put a lantern right here. That would cover all that incoming traffic. We've got spot right here we can hit up a lantern. A lot of people moving through there. Same with right here. That will give a little bonus to everyone coming and going through there. Okay, so yeah, it is not connected. So what I need to do now is come down here to the power. And you know what? I'm just going to throw in a four-way right there. And we're just going to call it good. Just going to call it good. So I wonder with... I'm looking at this right here and I'm wondering if I would have made that a a solid block if this guy would get more power or if it would be less power. I'm kind of kind of wondering right now. I know if we force water through different areas, of course, I mean if I put one here, that could just completely kill this wheel, but it could also supercharge that wheel. Alright, bad tide has ended. So, what we need to do is this. Let's come up here. Yep, they got that dynamite in place just like so. Detonate that. We've got one left. We'll let them do that here in just a second. Come back over here. I can now shut this. I can open that. We can allow the water to flow again. Alright, we'll just force all force out all the rest of that bad water. That's cleaning up nicely.
And then we need that. All right, so where do, what the the extract? What do we store the extract in? Is that a is that a barrel thing? That is a barrel barrel thing. Okay. So what I would like to do is we need some storage. Those little barrels don't store a whole lot, but I mean it would store some. Hmm. If we did this, I could run this through. Eh, we'd have to blast that out, but I was going to say I could put in another set of pumps right there. We, that might be what we do. We might just do that for the pumps. Use these two small storages right now for the extract. Uh, let's see, extract. Because I don't know how much of it we're actually going to need. But, I mean, if we have 60 on hand, that, you know, that's... A, I don't know if that's... That's probably not a decent amount, knowing me. Knowing me, I probably need hundreds. But, yeah, it'll be okay. You know what? Actually, what I can do... And I know this is a little, little ridiculous, but... I can always do this right here. And I can just throw in the little the little tanks all over the place. Just why not? And then like I said, I can build a thing right here, blast this out, put in some more bad water pumps if we need them. I don't know how many bad water pumps we actually need. Three might be sufficient as long as I increase my storage. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do with that. I mean, that's what I could do. I could put... You know what? Why don't we do that? Why don't we put right here... And I'll just put another one of these. We'll set that one for bad water. That'll give me 600 bad water. And then how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. Five of those at 30. That's what, 150? And all we're doing is filling in the extra holes right there. So yeah, that's not too bad. That should be able to do something, I think. Nice, so we are starting to get this put in over here. Good. Good, good, good. I am wondering if I know we're still working on it, but actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that, no, it'd be right there. Yeah, just go around for right now.
Do I want to do that or do we want to go? Hmm. Hmm. Is what I say. Hmm. So I'm kind of wanting to bridge this gap and then put in the uh, the what's it called below it the uh, the floodgates underneath it. I think it should work at that height. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Because I want to access over here once that's blasted. Now I'm going to have to have... Now that I think about it, I'm going to have to have that piece put in, put in place first. Yeah, okay. I could cross it down here, though, too. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of that guy. Okay, back down here. Where are we at on vacancies? Eight vacancies, really. Five incapacitated. Uh, three got contaminated. Two are injured. We've got eight more babies. Yeah, we might have to go ahead and raise this up again. Yep, raise that up. That'll give me another another 12 to add into the population. We're gonna have a hundred beavers in this city before I get this uh before I get this thing built over here. Constantly having to stop. How much extract does that dynamite take? Two? Two per one? Okay. Yeah, that's going to take a minute. Oh, well. We are making our way to getting it done slowly but surely. As long as we've got food and water and places for beavers to live, I think we'll be all right. It'll just be a slow go for a little while. I think the next thing I'm going to do is add in another builder hut somewhere so that we can have four extra beavers building stuff. That way our bigger projects can go a little bit faster. Maybe even two of them. An extra eight builders would be nice. That would increase stuff quite a bit. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But I guess for right now, guys, I think that is about it for today's video. So we got a little bit of stuff done. We got, like I said, we're working on our exit for our bad water over there. We're adding, we got our centrifuge in. So we're getting better dynamite now. And we're going to see what happens. But that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share that video on any social media you're using. 
And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.